guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi Bikekra so guys we're going to be checking out this video together titled a pastor took Muslims on a job to church so let's watch you guys he said makeup is not in the Bible this is what you church folk look like one of you brothers get that side for me will you please quickly please come on brother set that over there Set that over there. Mm. Two of you brothers uncover this one. Two of you brothers uncover oh, this one, please. Yes. Take your time. Uh -uh. Take your time. Take your time. I don't want you. Take your time. Pick that up down there. That's why you didn't take your time. Hmm. You took the Christian wig off. Put it on. Hmm. Now, you Christians, you have so-called Christian celebrities that look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives, you look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this <sighs> the Bible says in like manner also in like manner also that women are doing themselves in modest apparel what is so modest hmm. about this what is so modest about this there was some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said my pastor don't say nothing. I most certainly know he don't. Your pastor want to see this. Yeah. Your pastor want to see this. Because your pastor want to go here. Yeah. Am I right, I say? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah yes. chapter four. four. Now for you that says makeup is not in the Bible. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter four. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, uh, this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter four and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see, when you spoiled in these churches you can look like this because the preacher preacher gets no sin T.D. Jakes ain't gonna say nothing about this Creflo Dollar ain't gonna say nothing about this Joel Austin ain't gonna say nothing about this your bishop he ain't gonna say nothing about this when you up on the choir like this your bishop looking at you Am I right, I said? Amen. Listen! And when thou art spoiled, when you are spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou close thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. Hmm. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rinnest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this look? In vain. In what? In vain. What do they do in vain? Thou shalt make thyself fair. You think you look beautiful, but in God's eyes, your fair look is vanity. Vanity. This is what church has become to. You look on BET, the choirs look like this. Baptist folk like this non-denominational like this 
right. so-called apostolic like this Catholics like this give me Leviticus 10 10 in Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10 listen now what the Bible says that thou shalt put a difference what did it say Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10 turn Williams up make them louder yeah. Leviticus what is it? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus 10, 10. I want all my viewers to get this, get this, get this. Call the ones that hate it and say, look at what that crazy Pastor Jennings got on television now. That's right. You know why some of you upset? Because this look like your mama. This look like your daughter. This look like your wife. This look like your slacking wife. This look like the pastor wife. And that's why you upset with me. Because we call a spade a spade. <laughs> this is not the look of a Christian woman. No. Talk to me. Somebody posted a video of the excerpt of the clip of me preaching next to some gospel singer. She was dressed like this. Singing about Jesus. Talking about let's sing praises. A gospel singer dressed like this. And yet you men want to fight me. Women. You know why men cuss me out? Because I'm encouraging you to be modest. Because they want to keep playing with you like the slave master. Mm. They want you to look like a hoe. Go ahead. Mm. So they can make it rain. They want you to look like this. So they can keep driving and bumping their horn. Mm -hmm. They want your daughters to look like this. So that old hypocrite can take advantage of your daughter. They want your wife to look like this so they can take advantage of your wife. Mm. So that's why they call me nigger. Call me what you want. Mm. But we're going to put clothes on our women. Hmm. Oh, Bible said that the women adorn themselves how? In modest apparel. Come here, Sister Bailey. Modest. Come here, Sister Bailey. She's the church photographer. Stand right here. Stand right here. This is modest. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here quickly, please. This is modest. Modest to power. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? How in the world you expect for a man to come at church and think about Jesus and you looking like a stripper? Talk to me. Bible says, let the women that women adorn themselves how? in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Respectable. Presentable. You may be seated. Even some jobs hmm. got a dress code. Am I right, I said? Hmm. That's right. So you on the hip hop network, y'all heard y'all making fun of me and said, oh man, uh, he must really got a whole man for him to lash out. Hmm. Hmm. All that weak talk. You see, your mothers, your daughters, your niece and aunts, they're like this. You women. You send your daughters out with something tight like this. Yeah. And these old men looking at your 15, 
17-year-old daughter, how in the world can you criticize what I'm telling you? Mm. Listen, even if I'm not in church, this is morally wrong. Morally, it's wrong. Mm. Woman, the Bible says that women adorn themselves. Go back to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 30. Back in Jeremiah chapter 4 and at verse 30. Let's get the makeup. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? You see, your man, if I use that term, keep you this way. And you're spoiled. Spoiled. And you upset because here I come stripping you out of it. Your man. And for some of you, your man is your pastor. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. He wants you to dress like this. Mm. On the choir. What's wrong with the way God made you? Mm. Sister, why you need this? You know your hair's not that color. Sister, why do you need this? You know God didn't make you that way. Why you don't think it's something wrong for you to be in church on a choir like this? Grandma with tights on like this. Men, your wives come out like this. They're all right, brothers. They come out like this. Mm. How you don't see nothing wrong? Listen. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson, and though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, and though thou rinnest thy face with painting, and in vain. Wait a minute. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. Vain. If they wear makeup, what profit is it? In vain. In vain what? Shalt thou make thyself fair. Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. And that ye may put difference. You can see him. Now, this is what the so-called Christian said. God said he ain't looking at the outward. Give me the book of Samuel. When yeah. God sent the prophet down right. to, the, uh, to the house to look among Jesse's house, right. this is the scripture that they use. I want to get every scripture they got in mind so I can wreck it. They said, God said, come as you are. God ain't never said that. <sighs> God did not say, come as you are. If you do come as you are, fine. But that don't mean for you to stay as you are. Mm. Listen at this in the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 16 and we're right at verse 7. Everybody all right? Samuel, first Samuel 16. And at verse 7. Begin at verse 7. But the Lord said unto Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel. Look not on his countenance. Don't look on his countenance. Or on the height of his or stature. on the height of his stature. Because I have refused him. I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. The see. Lord don't see as man see. For man looketh on the outward appearance. Man look on the outward appearance. But the Lord looketh on the heart. The preacher switched that around and said, God said he don't look at the outward. God ain't said that. No. Let me prove to you that God do look at the outward. Now, in that scripture, had nothing to do with clothing. Yeah. That scripture had to do with came time that God wanted a king, a future king for Israel. Right. And when the sons of Jesse came by, Samuel immediately responded to the first son that he saw. Right. And God corrected him and let them know. <sighs> oh my God, I know some people will say, sister, why are you wearing this kind of wig? <sighs> What I would say is that, you know, I'm not really the flashy type, but once in a while, we tend to wear this kind of hair. I'm talking about hair. We tend to wear this kind of hair just to have a different look entirely, but we don't wear, like me, I'm not a party type. All those kind of things, I don't get myself involved in a clubby party. No, I don't. But even though I want to wear this kind of hair to church, I will wear a dress that is not too flashy and I will look very presentable. 
Yeah, I need to be honest here. Bible said, come as you are. And when you come as you are, you should not stay as you are. Your life is supposed to change, right? Your life is supposed to change in your dressing particularly. Like he said, like... There are some churches like that that some people dress in such manner and they believe that dressing that way doesn't mean I have bad intention. So people say that I'm just dressing for myself. But at the same time, we need to be careful in the way we dress because our dressing kind of pass message, wrong message to people out there, especially to men. If you are too flashy, you're, you're wearing short clothes, wearing flashy things and everything, that's that's to an extreme that's too much but you have to blend things out when you're wearing like the man said why must you wear air why must you wear air you know but i don't say anything wrong in wearing wigs but just be selective of the kind of wigs you wear so um this really breaks my heart the truth is bitter like no matter how i want to say oh this man why are you no eating at all why are you attacking ladies why are you saying all this thing but the truth is very bitter and all i can say is that we should you know try and dress well especially when it comes to the house of god when you're going to church dress in a way that is pleasing to god that god himself will be happy about don't dress in a manner to tempt anybody a man of god or a brethren or no it's not close that you're not supposed to wear to church some people cannot you know actually separate party clothes from church clothes some people claim to wear party clothes to church and you know oh my god this is deep guys i don't want to say much but this is very deep and I understood every bit of his explanation and I was expecting the man to um, open the last manicure just to see the dress I'm sure the last one the the manicure was dressed in a very decent way up to ground so dressing actually matters it matters it's good to be decently dressed it's good when you're decent it avoids so many things it avoids harassment it avoids so many things from the opposite sex when a lady dressed so well you know you'll be addressed well people people will tend to receive you well but if you don't dress well you know you know the kind of kind of people that you attract so dressing is very important modesty is so so important thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one stay blessed